The Midnight Gang, Chapter 19. Positively Medieval. No one dared to speak as the lift made its long journey back through the hospital to the 44th floor. Amber, George, Robin and the newest member of the Midnight Gang, Tom, all knew they would be in deep trouble if they were discovered out of their beds in the middle of the night. Eagerly, the four children watched the numbers of the floors go up from B for basement to G, one, two, three. It was now the early hours of the morning. Four, five, six. Lord Front Hospital was still quiet. Seven, eight, nine. The grown up patients were all asleep. Ten, eleven, twelve. A small staff of doctors and nurses were keeping watch over their patients during the night. Thirteen, 14, 15, ping! The children looked at each other in panic. The lift had stopped and not at the children's ward. Oh no, we're busted, said George. Shh, hissed Amber. Tom was unlucky enough to be standing right next to the lift doors, which began to slide open. Say something, Tom, whispered Amber. Me, protested the boy. Yes, yes, she replied. The lift doors slid open to reveal a hospital cleaning lady. Her name badge read Dilly. Dilly stood still, her filthy old mop and book in hand. A lit cigarette stuck to her bottom lip. The cleaner's mouth fell open in shock and a long tail of ash fell from the cigarette to the floor. Dilly stared at the group of children with deep suspicion. At the front was a boy in a pink frilly 90 with three children all in nightwear behind him. What you kids doing out of your beds? demanded the cleaner. Dilly's voice was deep and gravelly, no doubt about it from a lifetime of smoking. The cigarette on her lip bounced up and down with each word. That's a very good question, madame, replied Tom, playing for time. Actually, we've been asked by the hospital's principal, Sir Quentin Strimmers. Strillers, hissed Amber. Strillers to check on the quality of the cleaning of the hospital. You what? demanded Dilly. Yes, took over Robin. We've been inspecting the entire place from top to bottom. Ping! The children all looked relieved as the lift doors began to slide shut. But just in time, the old lady put her foot in the way and the doors slid open again. Why would Sir Quentin ask a bunch of kids to do that? demanded Dilly. For a moment, the Midnight Gang looked stumped. All eyes turned to Robin who was considered the smartest member of the gang. Um, the principal wanted children to inspect the cleanliness of the hospital because, he began, as you may have observed, as you may have, as you may have observed, observed children are shorter than grown-ups and therefore closer to the floor. That makes it easier for us to spot any dust or dirt, he said. The other three children looked mightily impressed. But you've got bandages over your eyes. You can't even see, said the cleaner. It was a good point. That's where I come in, said Tom. I am very much the eyes of the group. And I must say, that floor is a disgrace. Dilly was that rare type of cleaner who had left everything she'd touched in a worse state than when she found it. Indeed, she had been cleaning the floor with water that was black with dirt. As a result, there was a dark, dirty smear on the floor where she had just dragged her mop. I just cleaned it, protested Dilly. Well, 
I am very sorry, but it needs doing again, said Tom. Ping! The lift doors tried to close again, once again. There was no escaping. The cleaner's foot stayed firmly in place in the way of the lift's sliding doors. A trail of cigarette smoke looped and curled towards the children. And I am the nose of the group, added Amber. And I am sorry to say, there is a toilet on the seventh floor that urgently needs cleaning. Ah, oh, just clean the bogs in there, complained Dilly. Well, he must have missed something, said Amber. Or someone's just been and deposited something positively medieval, added Robin. Yeah, because I could smell it from here, agreed Amber, wrinkling her nose at the supposed pong. I can't smell nothing, remarked George. Tom knocked him with his hand to get him to be quiet. Now, if you'll please remove your foot from the lift, began Tom. Our hospital committee group has to be on its way. We don't have to report you to Sir Quentin Strillers, do we? The members of the gang all shook their heads and murmured. So, if I was you, I would get under that toilet and clean it sharpish, sharpish, snapped Amber. Yeah, yeah, of course, said the woman, removing her foot. Another ash tail dropped to the floor. And one last thing, Dilly, said Robin. Yeah? You should quit smoking. There's a rumour going around the hospital that it's bad for you. The next lift will be going down. Thank you so much, were the boy's parting words. Ping!